All right, we are live. What's going on, everybody? JV Wins is here. Dogon SS is here. We are back with another week, another video in the Conscious Approach video series on the Conscious Approach channel on YouTube. Appreciate everybody for tuning in as usual. Uh, looking forward to doing this week's video because I think we have a nice selection of topics to talk about. So uh, before we before we get into it, as always, I like to preface our video by saying that if you appreciate the commentary on this channel, if you like what we have to say, even if you don't like what we say, uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel so that you can get the notification whenever we publish new videos and new content to the channel. Uh, the channel is growing. Uh, we're consistent with the content. And so we certainly appreciate everybody's support and logical content as we continue to make logical content. So go ahead and you know hit that like button, subscribe, uh, comment on the video because we always pay attention to the comments and we comment back uh, as long as it's not a troll comment. Uh, we will largely ignore the trolls, even though we welcome the trolls. We just won't reply to them. Uh, but otherwise, we pay attention to comments. We respond. Uh, we're always trying to get actively involved in what's going on. And we just like making this commentary. So if you like this channel, if you support logical content, if you like the commentary on this channel, subscribe to the channel because uh, we certainly appreciate it. Now, with that out of the way, we're going to go ahead and get started. First up, we're going to talk about Drake. So Drizzy, one of the biggest names in the hip hop scene, uh, if not the biggest, is, uh, you know, making headway because he is entering into the jewelry scene. Uh, so <laughs> Drake is sort of a Drake. I, I think it's safe to say that Drake is a, a, a female troll. Um, and I think he embraces his status as a female troll. Uh, he actively talks about. Uh, the nature of women, even though he exacerbates some of the dynamics that play into women's nature. But I think he talks about it in a purposeful way because um, he kind of shows, hey, this is what y'all are about. And I'm living proof that y'all can't change or exit out of your nature because I can talk about you openly and point these flaws out. And you'll still give me what I want because you'll just do whatever you can for whatever it is that your motivation is, whether it's attention money fame whatever the case may be so drake is one of those guys i'm not really a fan of his music per se but his antics when it comes to women can at times be entertaining and so uh he recently uh put out some content about a piece of jewelry that he is you know uh kind of releasing out into the mainstream area of the consumer space and apparently this necklace is fixed with 42 engagement rings, which are meant to signify the 42 different times that he almost proposed. Now, whether that's true or not, whether he actually almost proposed on 42 separate occasions is neither here nor there, I think, at this point. I think it's just the, the observation around the jewelry itself that is interesting. So we're going to go ahead and play this clip first. And then I'm going to read an excerpt from a TMZ article, which gets into more of a background on what the necklace is about. But first, we're going to go ahead and play this uh, 45 seconds. Not too bad. Uh, this is sort of a video representation of what Drake's necklace is all about. Months. Every diamond hand selected, inspected to only suit perfection. This monumental art piece was assembled using 351.38 carats of diamonds, mounted in 18K white gold. Each stone meticulously set, utilizing the eagle claw technique. Previous engagements for all the times he thought about it, but never did. A true wonder of the jewelry world, presented by Alex Moss New York and Drake. <laughs> so yeah it's called 42 engagements and um here on tmz here's an excerpt i won't share the article but i'll just read it real quick it says uh drake necklace with 42 engagement ring diamonds 
for all the times I wanted to propose. Drake isn't afraid to fall in love. And now he's got an insanely flashy piece of jewelry to prove it. A necklace with 42 engagement ring diamonds for all the times he's wanted to propose. Celebrity jeweler Alex Moss tells TMZ Champagne Poppy's new piece is called Previous Engagements, a tribute to all the women Drizzy contemplated asking to marry him but never went through. In total, we're told the piece is 42 stones, count for 351.38 carats and diamonds. On top of all the ice, it's made using 18 karat white gold and was set using the eagle claw technique. Alex tells us the entire thing took 14 months to complete and was built by hand in New York City, though he won't reveal how much it cost. Drake debuted at Lil Baby's birthday concert in Atlanta last Saturday at State Farm Arena. Uh, 42 may seem like a lot, but there's always room to add more for the certified lover boy. And uh, as usual, all relevant links that we use for content in this video will be provided in the description of this video, so you can check those out for yourself. But uh, previous engagements. So this is a new type of spin on how to parlay your previous, you know, near relationships and near marriages by turning it into a massive, super expensive, iced out chain or necklace. What do you think about what Drake's got going on with his necklace? Um, I think that, um, well, first of all, uh, guys, we're on a race to 1K right now. So uh, please hit that uh, subscribe button. That would be greatly appreciated. All right. We're on a way to 1K. All right. And as far as uh, Drake is concerned and his um, eagle claw technique chain, I really find it... Um, I think the word you use trolling women is good. I think that's a good way of uh, surmising uh, what this piece is supposed to represent. Um, here's the thing. Now you can be, now you spoke of uh, hyper hypergamy before. And if there's not anybody on the top of the food chain, like Drake is, um, I don't know what women are really shooting for. You know, the, the average everyday video vixen want to look like Instagram modelish type of woman, even hell, even a celebrity woman. Uh, if you're shooting up that ladder, uh, you know, Drake is right up there at the top of everything. So I find it perplexing that, um, you know, him being at the top of the food chain, ready to put a ring on something, but something going awry or something, not adding up enough for him to actually go through with it. You know, one may add that it's probably commitment issues. I would probably say that he saw things in these women that was not wife material. He didn't want to get Bezos or anything else like that down the line where he would have to split, you know, half his royalties or whatever the hell, you know, else that he might have going on. So I think that um, this chain represents um, the various uh, bodies that he's acquired. It's a flex to like, hey, you know, y'all struggle to get one woman. I had at least 42. So it's a flex. It's a it's great. It's rap. It's, it's all of that. So it's a lot uh, tied into all of this. But I think my main takeaway is that it's basically uh, saying something to, you know, just not all women, but women who try to shoot up this uh, super hypergamous ladder that um, I vet my women and um, I vet them so much that I went through 42 of them. And just because uh, you came into my life doesn't mean you won't be the 43rd. So I think that's kind of where he's coming from with this. But how about you, sir? How do you feel about the eagle claw technique? on this yeah I, I i think that plays a role into it and oddly enough and this is why i call him a woman troll mm. i call him a troll of females he does things like this knowing that there's nothing that he can do or say to limit the amount of women who are waiting in line to try and be number 43 in the final one he knows this. So he knows that he 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 can make music videos. What's the name of the music video he made recently 
where essentially he's getting married to like hundreds of women in the yeah, music. Yeah, I, I, I saw that. Yeah, right. So he knows, and you say he's near the top of the food chain. I think when it comes to women in hip hop, Drake might be number one. Yeah, yeah. Um, and um, he knows that he can do stuff like this and be as egregiously disrespectful as he wants. And no matter how egregiously disrespectful he gets, he knows that there is a flock of women who are waiting to try and be number 43. And each one of those women thinks that they have what it takes to be 43 and the last one and that no one will come after me. But they're not, which is why they're waiting in that line. And they'll just end up being another body to be laid at the feet of Drake's, you know, enormous body count at this point. I think Drake's number itself far exceeds 42. I just think 42, if this is true, is the number of women that he actually maybe at some point considered marriage with. Uh, but I think his actual number is far greater than that. Of course, of course. So uh, Drake, Drake reminds me, Drake reminds me of many guys out here. Um, I would even put myself into this category at various points in my life, if I'm going to be completely honest, okay. you know, in, you know, for the, for the sake of full disclosure, Drake reminds me a lot of, he reminds me of a lot of guys walking around out here um, who say that they want the relationship thing, or they intrinsically believe that they are built for it. But in practice, they do the exact opposite. And so saying that they're built for it is a nice sentiment. But in actuality, they just refuse to come to terms with the fact that they're not built for it in reality. So I have a friend and you know who this person is. We both do. Uh, we used to have countless conversations talking about women. And he was always talking about how he wants to do the marriage and family thing. But it's all of these rotten women and it's the women's fault as to why he can't get into a relationship and get married. So in other words, I would definitely be down for the settling down type of life. I just can't seem to fight the right, find the right woman to do this with because all these women are trash. It's essentially what he believed. And, you know, after a while I would entertain that notion because he just kept saying it and he seemed convicted whenever he spoke on it. But after after all of the nights of going to the club, getting numbers, mm -hmm. uh, you know, one night in chicks, uh, just trying to get numbers up, uh, trying to get a, trying to get your roster so that you have a flock of three to five women who you can simultaneously communicate and have sex with at the same time. Um, after all of that, over a course of a period of an extended period of time, it became apparent to me that this is just something that you like to say so in your mind you romanticize over the notion that you're a settled down committed one woman marriage family relationship type guy but really you're not really about that you just say that you're about it because you feel as though it's the right thing to say uh drake drake strikes me as that type but he just so happens to be a hip hop star, a rapper. So he can make all of these songs in the world talking about how he's just looking for a good woman and, and, and wants to, you know, find the right one and get married and settle down. Mm -hmm. But the 42 near engagements and his non-disclosure agreements suggest otherwise. Um, I think Drake is fully entrenched in being a Casanova. Uh, he can, he has the power to do it. He has the ability to do it. And there's nothing that's stopping him from doing it because there's no consequence to bear. It doesn't matter how many times he cheats on, gets caught cheating on, stepping out on, being with however many women he wants. It doesn't matter. He's never going to pay a consequence but the, because there's always going to be the next chick stepping up to plate to be, with the, to be the next one to get with Drake. Mm -hmm. uh, and so because there's an absence of consequence on his end, it's easier for him to go about being a you know modern day real life Casanova, despite his sensibilities speaking to him wanting to do the opposite thing, um, he just so happens to be someone who is in the position to actually be able to pull this off. Whereas a lot of guys walking around out here who aren't multi millionaire hip hop top one percent superstars, 
mm-hmm. try to emulate this type thing, but they just end up going on long droughts where they are without women because whenever they get one situation, it ends up blowing up in their face because they're still trying to do this whole thing where they're trying to talk to multiple women and do this whole, I got a team and I talk to multiple chicks at the same time and I smash multiple chicks at the same time thing. So I think that this necklace, if you will, is a manifestation of Drake's walking contradiction. Um, he, because and he does it in his music. You know, he he's name dropped women in his music, talking about how, you know, if you ain't Aisha Curry, you not marriage material. Like he's done this throughout his music, throughout his career. Uh, he 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 gives words. You know, he lends words and dictation to this idea that if the right woman comes along, I'm ready, I'm ready and I'm with it. But I think that he is a walking hypocrite in that regard. I don't think he actually wants that in him, in his heart. I think he enjoys doing what he's doing and more power to him. I'm not trying to take anything away from him. I just don't want anybody to be fooled if they believe that there's something genuine with respect to the notion that Drake is out here looking to legitimately propose. Um, like you said, I think this is a flex. It's a rich hip hop guy flex. It's an I'm a superstar flex. And I think Drake does this type of stuff tactically, intentionally, yeah. Yeah. because he knows I can make music videos disrespecting y'all and talking about how y'all will let me get away with anything. You'll still want me. Now I'm going to make jewelry, essentially symbolizing how I can do whatever I want and y'all will still want me. And he's right. There, He's not wrong uh, because there is... For every woman who is, you know, at the graveyard of the Drake relationship, you know, um, in the Drake relationship field, there's hundreds, if not thousands more women who will try to, you know, buck the trend and be the exception. And none of them will ever be the exception because Drake isn't actually about that life for real. Well, I would say, I would say, say, and I hear what you're saying. We're getting out with that. But what I would say is that with Drake, he's now Kevin Samuels, he, he would say that Drake is not a high value person because he's an entertainer. He wouldn't fit into his definition of high value because but, he didn't build it. Yeah, right. But however, all right, if you want to talk about somebody that has uh, industry connections, um, that he does actually uh, have business deals with high value people and stuff like that. Drake's not your typical rapper is what I'm getting at. And he's not your typical entertainer. And so um, he's at the top of the food chain. So when it comes to his options, like you said, especially within the hip hop field, if there's any women that subscribe to that, he's he's at the top of the ladder. Even if there's a woman right now and I ask her, I say, hey, are you a Drake fan? Nah, not really. If Drake went in her DM, she's losing her shit. Oh, Absolutely. So, yeah. so even though she, oh, uh, Drake, yeah, he, uh, I don't really do light skin. If he was in her DM, she's, she's dropping everything. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, I'm sorry, babe. And she off to, she off to Drake. Yes. And so, um, so with a guy with that kind of pull and that many options, it really doesn't make sense for him to get married if they're not going to sign the terms and conditions, if he ever sets them. But of course he will set them because Drake is a machine. And so when it comes with Drake, he has an operation going on. Drake is more than a name, right? It's a corporation. It's a brand. And so there's people that are invested in Drake, Aubrey Graham, right? And so with these people that are invested in him, I'm pretty sure he's got a good enough amount of people that know stuff in his ear uh, and um, a think tank around him and a, you know, blah, blah, blah. I'm pretty sure at least one of these or two of these were actual legitimate things where he was like, Hey, you know, and then he went to his council and his council said, no, all right, don't do that. And the reason being is again, um, he will get extracted. Resources will be taken. And so it's a two pronged thing here. A, I do think, like you say, uh, when you're just speaking about the friend, there is an innate and ingenuine belief that they actually do want it. But programming has programmed people out of that. 
to where their actual actions doesn't display the thing that they romanticize romanticize. So Drake, and, and this is what I also brought up about with, you know, uh, the Britney Renners and the thought culture, even though people live a horse lifestyle, they still want uh, a solid foundation, somebody to come home to and family because, well, I just think that that's human nature. And this thought culture is not. All right. So there, so for Drake to be uh, the person that he is, I think he does still long for and does want a wife. But the lifestyle he's built for himself and the amount of options that he has doesn't really allow it. So um, I can't judge the man's heart, but he talks about love enough. And to do something like this, his mind is enough in that ballpark of wanting a wife somehow, some way, uh, subconsciously or consciously. He talks about it enough, as you say, that this is something that weighs on him. And being at that top, at that high of a level, the women that he encounters often are probably weaselly women. And they weasel their way into these parties. They weasel their way into this. If he actually takes some initiative and DM somebody, I'm pretty sure he's DMing a booty thought that's on Instagram who's either shaking <laughs> her ass or in a bikini on some beach getting flown out somewhere, you know. So I'm sure that his taste buds have also been skewed due to his success. So even if he actually does get a woman close, a woman close uh, to him somehow, some way, there's something about her that's off that says that you're only here for this. So it's a, it's a wild circumstance being somebody like Drake, being as famous as he is and being as popular with the women as he is for him to actually settle down with somebody that's genuinely there for who he is and not going to take half in about four or five years after they did their bid. So uh, there's a lot of components that go in with this, but uh, I just would say that, yeah, man, just rock on Drake uh, and, and live a, a King's life, if you will, where, um, Hey man, you got the, the pick of the litter. You can do whatever you want and live as, as much as a, a King as you want and have your concubines. You know, not like uh, Nick Cannon, because Nick Cannon is going to have to pay that child support. All right. You know, he got he got agreements now, you know, but eventually he's going to have to come out of pocket. He's already coming out of pocket. So whenever Drake uh, actually does want to have children on purpose, because I think that child that he does have out there or whatever, um, you know, that that wasn't you know, he didn't want to go down like that. But, yeah, just live a life like that. You know, I think that's the closest a man like him with as much he has going on in today's modern society, for sure, has a chance of actually having some semblance of having a, a wife. And that's by having wives like he had in that music video. So, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm not I don't totally disagree with all of that. I just think that at the end of the day, if you truly wanted something, you just go and get it. Um what do they say about men nowadays? You know, real men out there aggressively attack a goal in mind and they acquire it. Um, there's more than one way to skin a cat. You can be a hip hop superstar without perpetrating any of this if what you truly want is the opposite of that. Meaning that if Drake actually wanted to do that kind of stuff for real, I don't think the number would have gotten to who who almost in, who almost proposes 42 different times. That's what I'm saying. It's crazy. That, that's an absurdly high number. That doesn't mm -hmm. make any sense. So that kind of tells me that a lot of this is just superficial, tactical marketing type stuff where Drake is doing what he's done for the majority of his career, which is uh, point out some of the more toxic aspects of the nature of women while also being able to benefit from women's toxicity because women in this space will give it up to a man of Drake's stature, despite how much disrespect they may incur. So Drake is living proof of this and he lives in this type of environment. He's sort of fully enthralled in that dynamic, but he's intelligent enough. He's smart enough that he can play upon the dynamic in such a way to make himself look like he's aware of what's going on and how he's above board and that if the woman right woman truly came around he'd be willing to let it all go because he truly wants to be a relationship type guy 
Um, I'm a bit skeptical in that regard. I do think that there is now uh, to sort of, you know, give credence to what you said, uh, perhaps intrinsically at one point he was about that. But I think if he was about that, that is so far gone to uh, quote no one of his intended. albums. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, actual pun intended. Okay. But uh, yeah, I think I think that if he was about that, that part of him is so far gone. Mm -hmm. uh, he's been Drizzy Drake, uh, famous non-disclosure agreement, you know, he, you know, smashing all the chicks in the world for long enough that at this point, if he is verbalizing wanting to do this relationship stuff, it's something that is probably in the recesses of his mind, but is not necessarily a realistic proposition. And who knows, perhaps when he's done with the music game and he's moved on to other things and being a single bachelor isn't something that's necessarily beneficial to the image that he's curated for himself, that he will be willing that all of a sudden it'll kind of change and he'll just start becoming this serial monogamous dater. But I think that that's, I think only time will tell, but I think for now, this to me amounts to tactics. Uh, and he's done it throughout his music, you know, throughout all of his music, even on his first album, he was doing it. Like he talks about how y'all will give it up to me, even though I'm calling you out every chance I get. And he does it into perpetuity. And he's affirmed every time he does it because he still gets whatever woman he wants, despite the fact that he says all of this crazy stuff in his music. He, I mean, he's doing it now in that trash album that he put out with uh, 27, with 21 Savage uh, yeah. uh, about a month or two ago. He's doing it in that <laughs> album, you know? Now, some of the stuff that he be saying is true when he talks about, you know, if I'm busy, don't call me. Find another rapper to line up your bank account because I ain't got no time for you. But at the same time, he will acquiesce to it if the time is right for him. Yeah, so absolutely. there's a, yeah, so there's a there's a there's a big duality component with a lot of this. But I think at the end of the day, I think Drake romanticizes about the notion of it because perhaps he came up uh, with those types of uh, qualities ingrained in him maybe from his parents or his guardian figures or whatever. But I think at this point, he's so fully enthralled in his hip hop stuff that he knowingly does this stuff on purpose because he's just out here slaying. Uh, and it is what it is because it's like, I, look, I don't have no issue with it mm -hmm. because I think every time he does this, he's right. So he's proven correctly. He can make songs, videos, necklaces, whatever Drake does. He's proven correct whenever he employs these various mechanisms but uh it, i do believe that there is a bit of a romantic a romanticization on his part because he might say it but in practice i don't really think he's with it but maybe he will be in the future who knows yeah fame is a new phenomenon in human history has there been people that have transcended uh human history that we still know their names even though they was going on in the fifth century absolutely but it, it wasn't a cesspool of famous people. Uh, you know, this fame thing is, is very, yeah. it's, it's a new phenomenon that um, this amount of people have become air quote famous over the last century, I would say. And so Drake, you know, in a genre of music that's relatively new to human history. All right. Um, he's one of the biggest icons to ever exist within the, the sphere. And so when you're dealing with these phenomenons and you also try to pair it up with a more traditional mindset, because I'm sure the young man growing up, although he wanted to be famous, I'm pretty sure he wanted a wife and family and stuff too. And so growing up and becoming an adult and you have access to all these drugs known as women, and he can have these women at his disposal, there is a contradiction of traditional versus, you know, the luxuries that I have as being a celebrity at this point. So, yeah, man, it's a it's a conundrum. And honestly, I don't know how people like this are supposed to move. Because, like I said, if he decides to get married, the girl's only going to do, you know, after she done took her trips. After they done did all this other stuff, she done got her car, she done got pregnant, maybe once, maybe twice, you know, make it look good, and then cash out. 
So she'd never have to work for the rest of her days, even though she didn't have to work for the rest of her days with Drake. But Drake isn't a billionaire. Drake isn't X, Y, Z. Drake isn't whatever. And if she's at to the physical status to what Drake wants to wife her up, then I'm pretty sure she could get somebody who, you know, I'll hop on the next one or just cash out and live independent woman and take your trips with your homegirls. Who knows what these women are up to? The whole thing is that um, the divorce would do him dirty. And I'm pretty sure he's smart enough to get a prenup and all that other stuff. But there's still a way that she's going to come out better than she was before, you know, before they got together. So I think he doesn't want to be taken advantage of. Uh, I, don't, I think 42 is an egregious number. Uh, yeah. 40, 40. I don't care how many women you smash. Like 42 is a is a wild number if you genuinely consider being married. Yeah. Right. So that's still a wild number, but I would still say that there were, you know, out of the 42, let's say that it is real. I still think that there's at least two or three that he really considered pulling a trigger on for sure. But like yeah. I said, but I, like I said, I think cooler heads prevailed and I, I think it was just best for him not to do it for his franchise. And so uh, being a man that he is being famous in this modern era, it's a wild dynamic, man. And you have to protect yourself and your assets uh, because all of the stuff that you work for uh, could be taken in half or a quarter of it. And that's maybe not a risk he's willing to take right now. So yeah. wild times, man. Wild times. Yeah, it, it it is. I just, you know, if Drake will, if Drake was really about that life, you can make it happen. There's examples of men of his stature who have been able to do it successfully. I just think that when you're in that particular type of environment, meaning the hip hop space, um, you either don't know how to go about vetting the right types of women, or you just don't want to because you're just too busy doing hip hop. It's one of the two. Uh, and Drake is caught up in one of those two things, in my opinion, because I've, there's just too many other examples of whether we're talking about movie people, pro athletes, um, other entertainers who are actually about that, they managed to somehow make it happen. So what? It, where is the distinction between those folks and people like Drake? I think it's a personal choice that, that individuals like Drake makes to not prioritize that. Not saying that he should, because if I'm, if I'm being honest, if I, was, if I was him, I might be doing the same thing that he's doing. Um, I don't know that I'd be making songs saying that I want to be married if I really don't want to be. But that's also a part of Drake's brand as, as an emo rapper is to kind of do that kind of stuff, too. So it's all strategy. But I've seen a lot of examples where as a man, if this is something that you really want to do, uh, yes, there's always going to be some risk because you are Drake and you are who you are and you have amassed what you've amassed. But guys have been able to pull it off. Derek Jeter pulled it off. You know, Curry might be a bad example because they've been married since before Curry was Curry. Um, but, you know, there's other examples that you can look at throughout some of those landscapes of men who are able to pull it off. The point that I'm trying to make is that it's not impossible enough for me to conceive that if this was something that Drake actually wanted, he could figure it out. He seems like a smart enough guy. I just think that there is a duality inherent in this and he doesn't actually want to figure it out because he's doing hip hop. And in the midst of doing hip hop, he's going to lean into it by making chains and trolling women because he knows that he can get away with it into perpetuity. He has ultimate immunity because these women are always going to line up to be with him no matter what he does. That's fair. That's fair. I got you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So that was a fun topic, man. Good luck to Drake. Uh, not the biggest fan, like I said, of Drake's music, but I do like his troll efforts. I do find them funny and entertaining. Um, yeah. So. Uh, kudos to Drake and his previous engagements, chain or necklace or whatever. Um, hey. Good luck to whoever chooses to purchase that thing because I'm pretty sure it's a grip. You know it's a grip. It got yeah. the eagle claw. <laughs> yeah, that thing took six months to make. It better be a grip. <laughs> All right, so we'll go.